Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3. We're here on Tarsus and the Desert Spirals. Now this is gonna be phase three for this map, where in phase one, we set up our first main spiral and solved all our money problems. Phase two, we uh, finished the main spiral and started setting up all of our industries and getting infinite money and setting up the final two spirals. And in this phase three, we're gonna be setting up our second housing spiral and the villa spiral to try and get max level housing. So let's go ahead and get things started. All right, so now we're on phase three in all of this. And since we have infinite money, we should probably just start sort of going along and doing things. And also, I forgot these wharves right here are gonna burn down. So let's very quickly try and sort that out before uh, we forget. Uh, we're gonna need a prefecture right there. And we might as well get an engineer's post down as well. That's the best we can do. Hopefully those, those don't burn down, but we have plenty of food, so it's not too much of a concern. So we're gonna get these guys moving in, and these little houses are going well as well. Now, I need a reservoir coming down this way. Can I actually fit a reservoir like right here? I could. And if I just have this aqueduct come down like this around our military, and to make sure our military can get out, we'll put a couple of roads right there. And I'm just going to, like, put another reservoir right here. Which should work out. So, we gotta get this second housing block going because we need 6,000 people. There we go, got that going. Fountains, we're gonna need a fountain... ...here. And there. I think that should cover all the found all the housing. Yes, for that row there. And just in case we're going to have a prefecture and engineers post here as well. So, I can go ahead and put a market down. Like It should be fine if I put it right there actually. And this market can actually access all of this, so that should be fine. I think just to make sure things are safe, I'll put two markets, right? Two markets make sense. And we'll start getting these houses evolved. All right, so that's gonna be good. And on this side, we're gonna need to do some probably interesting things. Like, uh, how do I wanna do this? If I... Yeah, I think I'm gonna gatehouse here, like this. So that road is doing that. And I'm gonna need, like, a couple houses here. So this road can actually do something like this. And we can have it come along here. But we need to make sure this area is separated. And we're gonna do that. Okay. Because we need an area to store goods so that I can have a market right here. Which should work out. To feed these villa areas. Okay. Uh, I suppose if I had a, a building has collapsed uh, where... Oh, yes, of course it would have. <laughs> um, I guess we just do that for now. If I had a house here... Like another villa, right there. I suppose I might be able to get away with not having... Like if this was a, a loop of some kind instead. And it did something like this. When this house evolves, we don't need this road connection here. Right? That makes sense. So we can do that. Okay. Alright, so these people are moving in. These market ladies are already starting to feed them. And we have infinite money, so let's go ahead and plaza this up. And while we're at it, we're gonna plaza this road up. This whole thing's gonna be plaza Because... We have infinite money. And that's gonna be villas. 
Okay, so now this is gonna need local religious facilities. So let's just start getting everything down, shall we? Uh, we're gonna need... Like, we can move these temples, I think. So if I move Venus to here and move Mars to here... Then clear these off. And to make sure this house evolves in the correct direction, we're gonna do that. Okay, so that's gonna give some local religious facilities. And I probably do need one more temple. Do, do I have any spare temples around? Uh, Shadow Knight 649 asks, do I plan to return to Populous the beginning? I might. I might actually do that. It depends. Ah, that temple. That Mercury temple that we don't need there. Small temple, Mercury. I'd like to have one more temple, like here. That's just to try and cover all of these bases. Now, what do you guys need to little entertainment? So we're gonna need... Ah, we're gonna need the amphitheater to be in the middle. So that we can have... another theater. Right. Yeah, we need these two to be like this. And let's just drop a forum while we're at it. By the way, are we actually taxing these people properly? Uh, commerce. Uh, what happened? Fire? Where? Where's the fire? There? I guess we just need more prefectures, right? Are we actually taxing these people? I'm not too sure. Commerce, tax... Uh, kind of. Not really over here properly. Not that we need the money. Unemployment of 5%. Yeah. Let's just try tax people more on the outside there. Okay, people are disgruntled. Uh, people are annoyed with you. It's probably because we're taxing quite a bit. I'm just going to drop taxes to 12%. Uh, am I sure the walker won't shortcut through the garden for that theater? That's a good point. Um, that is a very good point. Uh, I think I should maybe move the Venus temple here and put the theater here. That is a good catch. Lucky Rajin caught that, <laughs> yes. There we go. So now the entertainers are spiraling into the housing block for this, and they now need educational facilities, so have a school. We can also give them, uh, let's see, doctors, and they're gonna need a bath as well. Can I fit it there? Yes, that should work. They're gonna need a barber, so let's just drop that down as well. And those houses on the end aren't quite evolving, so I guess a fountain goes there. And then we can just fill the rest of these up with small statues. There we go. We'll put an oracle right there. Looks good. Okay. So now this area looks okay. I'm gonna put down a granary here. We're gonna need to extend this road by one. And this granary is gonna be for meat. And we're gonna need another granary. It would be better if I move this prefecture to there. And have another granary here, which we're gonna need for wheat. So that we can have a warehouse right here set to accepting nothing but wheat so that we can start importing a second type of food just for uh, this area. So let's go here and we're gonna start importing that. We're gonna set this to getting the wheat. There we go. And we probably need just to be safe. 
extra prefecture and engineer's post. And to make sure all this desirability is mitigated for these houses, have it yourself an oracle. Maybe two. There we go. Two oracles right there on the outside. Why aren't these evolving? No basic educational facilities, really? The school is walking in one direction? I hate it when all the kids go in the same direction. Uh, maybe if I swap these two around. Venus can go there. School can go there. Then you can all walk out that side. These markets keeping up on all the resources, they, they very much are. Which means we can drop down a library. Which... I guess can go... Here? If the librarian walks inside, it'll cover all the houses. If he walks outside, he'll just cover those. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Meanwhile, can I actually... How far does that reach? To there? I guess that's fine. Another oracle right there. Oh, we actually used up all of our marble. Okay, that's fine. Ah, so now we can get some fishing going. Four, four should do. Anything gonna burn down? Anything gonna get demolished? I think it's all fine. I think it's all fine. Nothing's burning so far. Hmm. Knight Marius. Am I playing with infinite funds? No, no, no. I'm just selling a ton of stuff. If you look at the trade on this map, we can sell 25 marble plus 25 marble. So 50 marble a year. And then we can sell 15 weapons plus 25 weapons. So that's 30, 40 weapons a year. So 50 marble a year and... Uh, yeah, 50 marble a year plus... 40 weapons a year. Which is a lot. See these boats just sat here? They're, they're, they're just buying stuff. <laughs> they're just buying stuff. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Alright, so these two markets are down. These houses have evolved. They need a supply of furniture, which I think that market lady should provide. Yes. So those have become large insulates. Uh, these houses should evolve soon. Ah, right. Because only one by ones... So if I move, if I just replace that with a small statue, it should be fine, right? These one-by-ones can't really get the resources they need. I'm gonna get rid of that. Unless I wanted to somehow try and get a market on the inside. If I do this, it might eventually get enough resources because all of these houses on the outside are being fed from the two outside markets. So having this market here should be okay. All right, so we're gonna start feeding these houses with that. We're gonna need a reservoir coming over to this side. Can this go through the, the zebra? It can. Okay, just in case I actually split the zebra, would you look at that? All the zebra are right here. I'm not sure if there's going to be a need to go through here, but I'm going to make a gap here, a gap here, and a gap there. Just in case we are invaded from this side. And now we can go ahead and get fountains down. Fountain can go right here. And right here, that should reach all the houses. Yes, yes, okay, there we go. So now this market can start getting resources and we can now put down some warehouses here. Uh, one, two, three. Four. So we're gonna need this to be getting pottery. We're gonna need this to be getting furniture. We're gonna need this to be getting oil. And this to be accepting wine. 
and we can start importing wine. There we go. Now, this villa here is going to have some desirability problems. I'm just going to mitigate that immediately by putting down some oracles. Um, do I want an oracle there or an oracle here? Oracle here. And I think a large statue here. And actually, I never put down the governor stuff. So governor's house can go right here. These are all highly desirable buildings, right? Governor's house can join the villa area there. We can go ahead and put governor's villa. Ooh, nice lovely villa right here. Yeah, sure. And we can, we don't actually have a senate, so we'll give these guys the senate. So this area looks all nice and official. Do I want it here? Sure. And that will actually automatically tax the area. Governor's Palace. I like never build any of this stuff, right? It's just, wh why? Why do I need to build all this stuff? Well, the Governor's Palace can go right here. All right. <laughs> I need to get used to building these things. These are all like super desirable things, right? Oh, these zebra. I've trapped them. And they will stay there forever. Now, what do these guys need? Two little entertainments. Yes, so we need... Theater. Amphitheater. School. Library. Um... Doctor. Have all these houses filled up? No, there's actually plenty of room. Is this market actually getting anything? Some food? Okay. Well, resources are starting to show up there. And I think I will, just in case, set furniture to export when it's over... 16 units? Because we don't need the money. So I'll just make sure we have enough. And also... Uh, ah, setting the trade center, I've been, I've been told setting a warehouse to a trade center means it only affects uh, imports, I think. So it doesn't really matter for exports. Luckily, we are not importing or exporting oil. We are importing olives, so we have the central production of oil right there. These houses now need a local bathhouse. Baths can go right here. What else do these guys need? School, uh-huh, uh-huh. Has this market got everything? Got the two types of food. All right. I guess we just keep building houses, right? It seems like we do need a bit of a gap here. Build some more houses there, maybe. Build a couple houses there. Build some houses here. Get some fountains down. Oh, the fountain should go there. Right there. Okay. That should get the people we need. What's our employment like? Short by 45? Okay, we can probably cut back a bit on this food production. We don't need that much for just this number of houses. Ah, we are under attack. Let's deal with it. From here? Okay. So, I do have these horsemen to slow them down. We can bring all of our infantry over. I built this wall specifically to slow any invasion. But this... I think my auxiliary can actually deal with most of the invasions on this map. So I don't have to worry too much. Let's just charge the auxiliary in. There we go, these houses are starting to evolve. No access to barber. Have yourself a barber. Charge the horsemen in. Get 
get the javelins going. Can the horsemen almost take care of it themselves? Yeah, they're already running away, I think. There we go. We actually don't need any legions on this map. This is a peaceful map, so... Problem solved. Alright, let's keep these houses evolving. I kind of want a large statue right here, I think. Can they still pass? They can still pass. Um, so we don't have a Colosseum or Hippodrome, but I'm not sure if we need... Do you need a Hippodrome before... Before two types of wine? Are we actually using up all the food from here? Or can we still maintain? I think a couple of these first feedings might cause some food problems, but by the looks of things, it's okay. Alright, so now what do you guys need? Supply of oil? Surely you have oil. Where's the market lady? Coming on down here? Okay. Why is there fish in here? Why does this keep happening to me? Why is there fish in this warehouse? Stop that. Um, just in case, I'm going to set this to getting meat. There we go. These are now uh, large insulates. Needs more entertainment. So, as we've learned from before, we can actually just boost our entertainment ratings. There's actually no... Hold on. That is a little cheating. There's no actor colony or anything over here. But I think on this map, I'm gonna go Colosseum. Build a lion house. Where can I fit a lion house? If I move this prefecture to here, an engineer's post to here, and then I can remove those two and have a lion house right here. That should be okay. And if I did want a hippodrome, can I actually fit it here? I can, but I don't know if that counts as a road connection. You're never too sure with these hippodromes. It might have to be there. But I will preemptively prepare for that by extending this wall this way instead. And clearing off this wall here. There we go. Ah! Looking good, looking good. Entertainment points don't work like that. Need a supply of wine? Have we not imported wine? Is wine a water trade route? Wine is a water trade route. Ah, I see. Um, well, to solve that... this prefecture like here. Can I actually fit a warehouse right there? What is what is that? A tree. Can that warehouse function there? And just put an engineer's post there hopefully and set this to accepting wine. I think all the walkers are spawning in the correct spots. No employment problems, okay. A working Colosseum. Ah. Now. Help yourself. Alright. So this secondary spiral seems to be working out okay. It doesn't have access to a bathhouse. Well, you can have baths from here. Okay, and these houses don't have school education, so you can have a school right here. That should evolve those houses. What's up with this? No health or clinic provisions, so you can have a doctor right here. And I will turn these into gardens because there's a little gap here which uh, 
the cart pushers need to go through. Now this needs to be set to getting wine. There we go, because we've got these up to Grand Insulets. Looks like the market lady doesn't quite reach there. So it might be more appropriate if I remove this house and have it down here instead. And if anything, I put more services over there. Right? Like this amphitheater should probably go there. Why did this house devolve? It re-evolved. Okay. Uh, hospital. Hospital's gonna need to go somewhere. Ooh. Maybe the hospital should go there. Right? So if I move this amphitheater back, I could move the theater. Here. Clear that off in case of anything. Supply of furniture. Is the market lady just not reaching? Let's put down a second market. Just to stabilize the supply here. I think if the market lady walks this way towards the gatehouse, it only reaches these two houses. But if she walks this way, it'll pass all the houses. So a second market should mitigate that problem. How's our furniture supply? Looking okay. Money's looking okay. Pot pottery's looking okay. Is wine coming in yet? Uh... The clay export's just sort of... These guys buy weapons and sell wine. Once, once the first batch of wine comes in, it'll actually go quite quickly. Alright, we'll wait for that to come in. So we can have four villas here. We could probably squeeze in more villas. We don't actually need all of these palaces and stuff, but uh, it's okay. Uh, no clinic provision again? Have yourself a doctor there. No local access to a barber. Let's have a barber going around on the outside here. This market in the middle is actually having a decent amount of resources, which is good. Supply of furniture should be fine. There we go. Evolving all of these houses up. We can get those down. Those zebra are still trapped there, and they will remain there until I say so. Can't I rotate the Hippodrome by turning the map direction? Huh. Does that work? Nope. <laughs> I never tried that, but I just assumed you couldn't, and you can't. You can't do that. Uh, apparently you can do it in Pharaoh by turning the map for the mausoleum. Hmm. How interesting. Uh, this house is now evolving again. No access to religious facilities. There we go. This is going to evolve straight up to Grand Insule, which is very good. We just need the wine to come in. The wine still hasn't come in. What is this? Uh, the marble... The marble and the clay thing can be a bit difficult. You know, if I actually changed... I'm just going to demolish this. Set a warehouse here. Set this to... Getting all the marble. And set this... To start emptying. Oh, this place was accepting wine? Oh, okay. We almost imported wine up to there. Let's start shifting all the marble down here. And I'll just put the barracks up there. If the marble is next to the dock, it will speed up this transaction a little bit, right? Right. Shadow Knight 649 just got the notification about the stream. Good job, computer. <laughs> just a little late. There we go. Now we can clear that off, and I'll just put the barracks back there. Barracks can exist there. Putting the marble next to the dock will speed up exports. Because uh, the clay is coming all the way down here, and the marble's going all the way up there, so it just takes forever. I have furniture? Falling desirability? No, no. What, what did you guys run out of? Furniture. This secondary market hasn't gotten furniture yet. It's re-evolving again? 
yeah, the furniture supply is a little low, but once a second market comes online, it should be fine. Because this market is fully stocked. There we go, re-evolving those. So yeah, one market lady stopped here, the other market lady is going up until here, it seems. Oh, the second market lady goes quite far. Alright, now I'm just a little concerned of how these are gonna evolve, so I'm gonna put a small statue right there to make sure these two evolve first, leaving this to evolve the correct direction, rather than this evolving towards this and trapping that in. That'll be a massive pain. Is the wine in yet? The wine is in, yes! Are you going to get the wine? That guy's going to get the wine. All right, so let's just speed things along here, make sure things are stable. It looks like my spiral designs here are pretty stable. Why is this? No access to a school. Are the kids all running the same direction again? I guess so, yeah. How are the gods feeling? Happy? Good. Did I plaza the road tile behind the granary when I moved the road for the second granary? Hmm. Reduce the price of oil. Okay. I am not sure. Let's find out. I did not. <laughs> nice catch. There was a there was a tile not plaza there. So now the wine's gonna come in. Once I just wait for it. Where's the there it is. Here's the guy coming on over with a supply of wine. These two markets should be fully stocked. There's the wine. Market ladies grab the wine. And there we go, yes! Villas, villas, villas. Needs a hospital, so let's give them a hospital. Sure. Just fill these up with some statues, some gardens to bring some life to this desert. So that hospital should evolve these further. Some entertainment, but not enough. How's our employment? No employment problems means... Oh, look, these actually evolved. Because <laughs> the market ladies come down here. These actually evolved. Uh, you know what? Why not? Go ahead. Evolve some more. I don't mind. Um... Can we cut back on any industry? We could probably cut back on oil a little bit. We can cut back on food a little bit. We can cut back on weapon production and iron production a little bit. Marble actually can maintain. So that should give us 4% unemployment. So let's clear this off. And the Hippodrome needs to go here. Now, can someone tell me, if the Hippodrome is just touching that corner, does it have road access, or does it need to be like that? Because I can do either way. Th does that center bit need to be touching the road, or is the corner just okay? Is the corner just okay? Because I can move the baths here, which isn't an issue. And I can move this, what is this, a barber? I can move the barber somewhere else. Counting TLS says no. No what? I need to be more specific. Uh, the barber can go right here in the corner. As long as one tile touches the road, it should have access. Do I have space for an academy? I can, I can make things fit. If anything, I'll just destroy one of these things. Like, this Senate doesn't need to be here, does it? You know, if I actually move the Senate... ...to, like, here. Space created. Uh, Senate. You can go right there. Because why not? You know what? I have so much money. Let's just find out. Um... Hippodrome. Right there. What? Really? The zebra? Well, they've done it now. The zebra must die. 
the Hippodrome works like every other building, just what needs to touch one tile of the road. Um, unfortunately, no, because we found out in Carthago if the road is touching the wrong side, it doesn't work. Uh, remember to build a forum, that's a good point. We just moved the Senate so there's no forum here. So forum can go there, make sure we tack, uh, uh, tax all of these houses there. Just a touch of genocide. Just a bit. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's find out if that works. Chariot Maker needs to go. It can go right here. Is this actually working? 150 people shot by 76 employees. Jeez. Can I just like continue to cut back on weapons production? Maybe cut back a bit on the marble production. Shot by 58. I actually can't skimp on food production. Huh? Hippodromes just take so much. Needs an academy to evolve further. These should have no current races. Is the Hippodrome working? Yes, it is actually working, so it fits there fine. Can I actually fit the academy right here if I move things? Yeah, I could, but I'll probably put it there. Let's put it there. And we need more people to move in, so... I'm gonna do that. Gonna do that. Gonna have an oracle here and here. We need more marble. We're gonna need fountains here and here. And just garden this up. And we put some small statues. This is not the most desirable location to live, but it's gonna have to do. A functioning hippodrome. TigerPax94 says, I just want to say I love your videos, man. Thank you so much. Now, we do need more people moving in here, but I'm not sure if food can actually keep up. See, I'm just being very cautious with this food situation because uh, you see the, the granary is not always full. It's not always full, and we've got to be careful about that. I think we should be okay. As long as there's always food in the granary, it should be okay. Because we have so many markets stocked up with food, we're actually, we've got a huge buffer. So if the granary empties, that's gonna be a problem. We'll put down these houses first though. We'll see if we can bring in enough people. See, this uh, when you're playing Caesar 3 or any of these city building games, uh, you have to sort of consider the limitations of what you can and can't do. And the limitations tend to be money, resources, namely food. Look at that, we've got three by threes. Third type of food, I don't think we can, so let's destroy that statue. And this is now gonna be four lovely villas. Yes, there we go, four lovely villas. And we cannot get a third type of food, right? It's just wheat and fish. All trade routes are open. We can only produce fish, we can only import wheat. There we go. Lovely. Four villas with a bunch of other stuff. I could have more villas, actually, which is not actually that big of a deal. What's our ratings? We need more favor. I mean, I could start giving gifts, but... Our culture is actually okay. Huh, would you look at that? So how's our employment? Short by 81. Yeah, so that's that's a bit of a problem. Uh, I'm concerned because our food production is from industry and commerce. 
And if I prioritize that, health and education take a bit of a hit. Maybe I just stop selling furniture. If I just up that and cut back on some furniture production, that could actually solve some problems. Shot by 33 is not so bad. So, because the confusing thing here is fishing wharves count as industry, not as food production. See, food production is 18 employees. Um, it's not it's not a big amount there, so... <laughs> um, if industry and commerce take a hit, then food takes a hit. Which can be bad. Anyway, it seems like we've got max level housing on this map now. Um, we could have more if we so desired, like I could squeeze one right there if I move this palace. Which is something we could do. If I get rid of this... Baba. And move it to here. Actually, we don't need that Baba. If I just have a house here... What is this? Palace? Palace. They're both called Palace? What is that? The governor's house? You can have more than one house? I thought you could only have one. Oh well. Let's have another... Help yourself. Uh, I'm just gonna put a house right here. So we can have another... You can have more than one house? I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? I can have as many as I want? The Romans, <laughs> says Counting TLS. I can have infinite palaces for myself for no reason. They don't do anything. These buildings I've built here, they're non-functional. It's just palace, palace, palace. They're non-functional. They don't do anything. The Romans. Counting TLS says up to 2,000. So I can have 2,000 palaces for myself, is it? It's the building limit. So I can have 2,000 palaces just for myself. Because the Romans. <laughs> anyway, now in term we've done all of our extra goals, I think. This stuff is gonna be fine. We're actually about hitting one more year, we'll be hitting our basically the minimum amount of time we have to spend on this map, which is peace. The peace rating needs to be raised. Uh, culture, prosperity, favor, that's all fine. We're actually going to start making more money from taxes because of... People are extremely pleased with me, huh? Um, so basically just the target population of 6,000, and I can solve that quite easily by just clearing off some space here. You know, let, let's do another mini spiral right here. That will just solve problems, right? Uh, so let's have let's have a spiral here. You know, are all my spirals going the same way? Clockwise, counterclockwise, counterclockwise. So I guess this spiral should be clockwise. Let's clear that off. Clear off these straggling trees. So this should be a clockwise spiral. One, two, three. And just for aesthetics. Did I actually line that up correctly? That's where that needs to be. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna line it up to the garden because we've done that for everything else. And I guess... Uh, we'll have it there. One, two, three. So it's going to be another small spiral, because we just need like another 1,500 people. Uh, probably another 1,000 people, actually. Uh, one, two, three. So how does, how does this end? Like a hook like that? One, two, three. So we actually clear that. One, two, three. Have this hook round. One, two, three. Over to there. Like that. One, two, three. Like that. So there's another spiral. 
and we just have a road coming out like not there. Not the road doing that. And we need some houses here to get things started. Prefecture. I'm not sure what the Is that too far? I'm not sure if that's too far. But let's go ahead and have those houses there. All right. Can these brown walkers reach down there to these houses? It's a little... it's a little... too far, I think. Yeah, it's a little too far. Let me slow this down, and I think I can just build a road a little bit closer. As long as I maintain function, we can do that. Have this go around like that, do that. So we don't need this. And we go Prefecture Engineer's Post. Is that too far? Let's find out. And how's the rest of our city doing? Is it just... Wait, no market lady is walking down this way to feed these houses? Well, we can try. Food supply seems okay. All the other resources seem okay as well. Okay. So it seems like this is a bit too far. We kind of need a house right there. Which I suppose we could feed. It shouldn't be too difficult. Prefecture. Engineer's post over on this edge of the spiral. So see, we're only using spirals on this. Fibonacci spiral. <laughs> I haven't quite memorized Fibonacci. Uh, what is it? One... 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, counting TLS. I'm not sure how I would implement that. Increase in wages. I'm supposed to be paying... I'm sp supposed to be paying 8 above what Rome pays. Was it an increase or decrease? Rome pays more wages. Okay. That should be fine. All right, so now we can get some wharfs going. Five, okay. Granary goes right here. This one is just accepting meat. We can get a reservoir down. Start getting our fountains down. Just get these houses starting to evolve here. Plaza up the spiral as we do. Oh, that's in the wrong space. This fountain needs to be... For decoration's sake, we'll have two. In that case, with that spacing, we actually don't need these. There we go. No employment problems, looking good. Ah, that looks good. Okay. So now we just gotta wait for the boats to come over here from the shipwrights for the food to start coming in. We're gonna need some markets, I think. Two markets right there. They can fight over the food for the starts. Um, oracles can go on the sides here. Yeah, I am like, I don't, what am I selling marble over? Export over four. We should be stockpiling four. Those fountain placements are triggering your OCD. Epic bubble SA. <laughs> um, I 
You're gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's just get these houses moved in, shall we? We're gonna need that there. We can have that there. And we're gonna need a reservoir over here as well. So we can have a fountain here. They're pretty much aligned, it's okay. Look, we fed a house. No access to local religious facilities. Let's get another five temples. Um, series. Neptune. Mercury. Mars and Venus. 5,000 people. We're almost there. We're almost there. Once we feed this block, we should easily reach our target population. Are these houses still desirability, really? Ran out of furniture? Desirability is an issue here. The forts really kill desirability, huh? If I just demolish that and have another oracle... Will that work? And if I move the school to here and have another oracle right here... Reduce the quantity of following goods. Buying marble. That's fine. Alright, so that should help with some desirability issues. Uh, uh, it's okay. It's okay. A oh, food's starting to come in. What do you guys need? Education. Uh, have yourself a school there. Have yourself a school here. We're gonna need a theater. Oh, I see the problem. We're gonna need the amphitheater here. So we can have the actor colony and gladiator school here. Theater, amphitheater, that's gonna send them in walking that way. Which means it doesn't cover these houses. Oh, we're gonna need to put this school down first anyway. Alright, that's gonna evolve these houses nicely. We could have... how much pottery do we have? I think I have to just produce pottery a little bit faster. I'm not sure if I can support having a warehouse here getting pottery. But I'm gonna go for it. We could always start importing more pottery, right? If I set this to... what is this accepting? To... no, no, accepting become the trade center. So if I set the pottery warehouse as a trade center and import pottery, the caravans who sell pottery should go straight to there instead of here. If, is that correct? Is that correct? Because... My understanding of Trade Center is it affects the imports, but not the exports, correct? We could probably get a few more fishing wharves here. Hmm.
Does that reach? I hope those reach. An extra couple fishing wharves should help support things. I probably should have stockpiled food, right? Oh well. Well, while waiting for these houses to evolve, I will just do my thing. As this is the theme of this map. that off. Okay, okay. Oh, those guys are going up there. Okay. Nope, it seems like setting the trade center does not do anything. <laughs> I said this as a trade center, but imports still came into here. I don't know what the trade center does. They still sold... How does the trade center work? Why why did it sell here? Is because it it, this one is getting and that one's accepting? Shouldn't trade center override that? I don't know how trade centers work because I never get them to do what I want them to do. Actually, I, it's not that I've never had them have any effect on anything. <laughs> All right, well we're 500 people away from our target population. We're just waiting for food to come in and to be distributed here. Uh, these markets, uh, we don't have a bathhouse, that's why these houses are not evolving. Baths can go right here. And could I support one, like another one on the inside? What's the furthest, what's the range on this? If I move this... The baths go there. Have that temple to Ceres go back here. And we could now put down maybe a couple doctors there and there. We could put down some barbers. Keep the health going up. Evolving these houses further. They need uh, furniture, I think, to evolve beyond this, which I'm not going to bring here because we don't need to. The market ladies just don't walk down that way, do they, huh? I guess that's not the worst thing. Yeah, we're just waiting for... Yeah, all the, both market ladies just keep walking into the spiral. But this should... get the last bit of... population we need. So we're gonna do here. Can we actually... Ooh, it does work. A click and drag trick. So, bringing in another one of those. These support 70 plus people. Are these houses filled up? How about our villas? Are they still stable? Are they still villas? These support like uh, 90 people each. And they're not completely filled either. Do you think I could support another villa here? I don't know. I just... No, no, no. I don't need that. I don't need that. How is our employment? Unemployment of 4% sounds perfect. Resources look good there. Resources look good here. Resources look good here. This is so stable. This is surprisingly stable. I'm just like putting down extra houses here. You can see the market ladies do not walk left. Market ladies hate left, apparently. Something is on fire, because this is a desert map. Where? What's on fire? That is not good. Uh, why is that on fire? Because we just need more prefectures? I guess? Look, there's two prefectures here. Two functioning prefectures. And those wolves are still gonna burn down. 
Alright, put that out please, thank you very much. I guess we don't need those two houses. Market Lady's not reaching them anyway, so I guess a prefecture goes there. And we can move the doctor to there. Yep, that should be okay. Increase in wages again. And more iron requests. This is going to help our favor rating. Let's just dispatch that. How is our favor rating? Oh, that should actually solve our favor rating. We don't need to give any gifts. Uh, so now it's just culture. So if I look at this, um, we could do with more theaters. And education, more academies. Okay. Education. Let's educate these people. Academy. And more theaters? Sure. That'll do. <laughs> Leave a little gap there for the immigrants. So the theaters should now be functioning. The academy should now be functioning. What's our culture rating? 51. Uh, is it still need more academies? Yeah. You know what? Let's extra educate these people. Another academy there. You know what? Have another academy. Hmm. That should be good. Now, we have actually fed all of these houses, so more food coming in. If I put a market here, we could actually try feeding these houses if enough food comes in. I could actually... Do I need to shorten the, the road here? I do need to shorten the road. I can do that by doing this. That's not exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that. So now there's a road blocked road connection here. So these card pushers can walk this way into the granary. Look, we're actually stockpiling some food here. That's amazing. Let's get this market lady with some food, feed up those houses, and then we should win this map. Uh, just to be safe, I will... Squeeze another, another couple houses here, with a fountain right there, and a small statue right there, 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 there. And those houses have now evolved, fantastic, need to supply pottery, we have plenty of pottery here. Plenty of pottery here. And we're just about completing the mission. Ah, we did it, we did it. Look at these little couple extra villas there, just because these market ladies do their job. Working Hippodrome, Colosseum, some... It's a, it's a bit messy on that side, but look at this. This is, this is the crown jewel of the city. This is the crown jewel. This spiral design right here supporting... I think this is supporting like 3,000 people. Or like 2,500. This is like 2,500 people. This is like another 1,000 right here. And I, I could put more houses on this side, but I didn't want to strain the system. And you know, these forts are holding those houses back. So I just set up this other area, get more fishing going. Didn't want to strain the system anymore. These have now evolved. And I think that is going to be pretty much victory if I speed the game up. Yes. Yes. I'm watching the, the population tick up. We could just wait for January for births. And that's 6,000 people. Culture. Uh, <laughs> uh, theaters and amphitheaters... Very, very good. Theaters. And amphitheaters. Where can I stick some extra amphitheaters? Will that do it? Libraries? We did it. We finished Tarsus with the Desert Spiral. Accept promotion. You are fast becoming my most valuable servant. Your mastery of trade 
made Tarsus exactly the city I had hoped it would be. The eastern provinces are more loyal today, thanks to you. All right, and that is the end of Tarsus with the spiral city design. Ah, that worked out, as usual, better than I expected, but... Uh... Anyway, let's go ahead and see what's up after this mission. We are now looking at Lutetia, which is a dangerous province, and Valencia, a fairly peaceful province. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's going to be buttons on the screen right now for you to click or touch, depending on your device, uh, to go ahead to those missions. But be sure to come back to watch its military or peaceful counterpart. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.